Okay, so I had a little engineering screw up. This worked really good down here, sliding off, except for I just had to balance the weight. But, little problem. I welded these on the outside. That one's obviously cut off because I couldn't get it off without otherwise because they basically were both like this. So as I lifted, they were wedged. So I didn't think about it. I thought, oh, it'll just drop in. Like, no, no, it won't. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to grind and cut these off, clean this rack up. We'll get both of them off. And then I'm going to actually weld the inside ones in place. And then we will bolt the outside ones in place. So when we drop it down in, it will actually drop down into place. And so it'll, it'll V fit in, drop down into it. Sorry, I only have one hand available at the moment. So it'll drop in here on this spot instead of out here. Cause out there, you know, the bottom's narrower than the top, at least with the inside, I'll be okay. So I can weld that in there and be fine. And then the outside one will bolt in place. Right now we are going to pull off the cab mounts and we're going to get the cab off of here, which means my plates here that we welded up before, I need to hole saw a hole through it to be able to get to that nut in there. And we'll see how that goes. And then in the back, that's going to be fun to get to as well. And there's no big deal, but up under there, not too bad. Yes. There's a little problem with your big plan. What's that? Where are we going to put the cab? We've got a lot of welding to do on this. We could try to put it under there somehow. No, yeah. we're not We're not putting it under the Cobra, because if I put it under the Cobra, then we're bound to have an earthquake and ruin the Cobra and the rack at the same time. Oh, the rack will be plenty fine. The rack might be fine, but the Cobra won't be. Yeah. <laughs> it's for all case. we got to test it. So we're at the point now that we're going to do a bunch of welding and modification to the roll cage for, you know, air tanks right here. Hopefully figure out what I'm going to do for mounting my uh, fuel tanks. Um, I got to get those fabricated still. Then what we got to do, um, airlines, that's one of the big things. So we'll get the roll cage off. This is going to be tricky because we're going to unbolt it over here. We're going to unbolt it back here then that means this thing's going to basically have to pop out first. And then once this thing pops out, we got to do some reinforcement on those two. So once this thing pops out, then we can pop this thing off. So we're going to have to be really careful putting this back together, guys. So, actually, oh. I think that's Zach's. That was Over a teller. We're going to, oh, took my glove. We're going to grind that up and clean that up. Make it all pretty. Yeah. We're going to purtify it. So just like right here, I've been debating, I've been debating on building something here to separate this frame. I, I kind of think we ought to sleeve it. We, we should weld a plug in and then weld it and then sleeve it because we can do that because we don't have a cross piece here. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll cut this out and we'll do a sleeve in here and weld a plug in this. And that way I can use this as an air tank and then I can take the exhaust straight up through this and through here. I got a crap ton of body work to do on this. I've got all here. I got a dent in the hole up there. 
I've got a hole here, another hole on that side. Got a whole bunch of repair in the bottom to do. So let's do this. I'm using the crane because I'm lazy. So we've got all this here to clean up. Got all this overlap here. I cut it. I need to fix this too. We've got to get rid of these screws. We've got a bunch of welding. We got there is uh, just a ton to do. It's like this right here. Okay. So I've got all this overhang here that we don't need, but we got to be able to figure out some other type of work on this to uh, support this. Need to cut all. This.